Here is the step-by-step -step process to ensure you get the best audio recording of your voice into your camera. The first thing we want to do is go into your camera setting and make sure we look for something called sound bars and we turn it up. This gives us a representation of our voice and how it's being recorded into the camera. The second thing we want to do is go to our mic level settings and turn it all the way down to its lowest setting. In the case of Sony cameras, do not put it at zero because that means it's muted. We want to start at plus one all the way to plus seven. Next, we either plug in our wireless microphone or shotgun microphone and we start speaking. At this point, you want to take note at where your voice is actually bouncing from as you're presenting to the camera. We want our voice to bounce somewhere between negative 12 and negative 6 dB. If you find that your voice is too low and it's not reaching this range, we go to our wireless microphone or our shotgun microphone if it has an analog gain and we start turning up its output until our voice hits the acceptable range. If your shotgun microphone looks like this, where it doesn't have an analog gain, this is the only time where you can start increasing the mic's level input. As long as you keep your voice in this negative 12 to negative six range, you will have a nice recording going into your camera. One additional note if you're with a Sony camera, you should never surpass negative 12 if you're at plus one. You can only surpass negative 12 if you're anywhere from plus three to plus seven. And even then, you don't want to try to get up to negative six. You want to keep your voice definitely a little bit below that, but you can at least safely pass negative 12. This is a little quirk of the Sony cameras, but just so you know, so that you don't get any audio distortion.